Julia because Julia is standing by in Qatar. Nice. Julia Stewart, what's it like there? Hi, Super Saturday team. So great to be with you guys uh, from Qatar. It's incredibly hot since you're asking what it's like. Um, Temperature probably around 35 degrees, real feel maybe 45 degrees, but a lot of excitement here today because it is officially now 50 days to go before the kickoff of the first FIFA World Cup in the Middle East, the first in the Arab world. One of the camera guys are with us on this uh, shoot. We're just getting some content here, just sussing out the base camps and so on for the next week. One of the guys was here for the draw in April um, and he said the difference between then and now is insane how much they've ramped up the visibility um, of World Cup, of football players. I mean, for example, Neymar, I've seen him in at least five adverts already, just from the plane to when we landed. He is advertising everything from the National Bank to mobile phone networks over here. Every uh, building now has a billboard of a very famous footballer who's going to be competing here in Qatar um, from November the 20th, which is of course the opening game at Al Bayt Stadium. So these buildings have become billboards for some of the world's best players. I've seen uh, Luis Suarez on them. Uh, no action of him biting though, just a picture of him in action. Uh, we've seen Dede Ayu, uh, Manuel Neuer is also on one of them. In the malls, the flags are hanging per, as per group. So uh, people are seeing this every day. You cannot go anywhere without seeing the Qatar FIFA World Cup 2022 emblem or without seeing Laib, the mascot, uh, which is basically a duck. Um, you can't go anywhere without seeing one of the players. They are so excited. Not quite sure are the locals of what to expect from the World Cup. Around 1.5 million people are going to be coming into this country, which is the smallest country to host the FIFA World Cup. 11,500 square kilometers, that's the size. Compare that to the former host, Russia, 150 times bigger um, for the last World Cup. So it's going to be the most compact World Cup. They're calling it the most convenient World Cup because of the high-speed metros at every World Cup stadium you are able to see as a fan more than one match in a day. The greatest distance between two stadiums we worked out is about 71 kilometers. The shortest distance between two stadiums here in Qatar is under 5 Ks. So fans are going to be able to pack in the action. The core niche where we are now and the World Cup countdown clock, uh, the big Hublot emblem with the Doha skyline in the background, it's pretty empty now because of how hot it is. But this section, around six kilometers, is going to be the main fan walk during the World Cup uh, with up until the final on the 18th of December, which is the Qatar National Day. I just was told by the local organizing committee that this is the most important thing for anyone planning to come here during that World Cup period, whether you're actually watching the games or not. This is a Haya card. You can go to Qatar2022.qa. You will not be allowed into the country. This is your visa, basically. Um, so the big push for this 50 days is to get people to go and to go and register and get their Haya cards. There's a lot of excitement out here. We're about to find out a little bit more, see where all the teams are going to be based, the African teams. Um, one team, I think it's Belgium, actually have um, a roller coaster, a theme park in their hotel. So when they say it's the most luxurious, the most outrageous World Cup ever, that's the kind of stuff we're looking forward to. Neil and the Super Saturday team, back to you. Julia, that's fantastic. And I just want to share something with you. You've got your access card. And we share a Super Sport multi-choice access card. Because otherwise, we can't come in and do this Super welcome Saturday. to your weekend. Eh? And we have to share. So it's awkward because we have to leave home at the same time. We have to arrive at the same time. Look at it. I just want to open it up because my kids are very good at doing this. It's even got a Super Sport logo. <laughs> there and it is. And it's loaded with money so we can buy toasters. It is true. So it literally has the local <laughs> That is a true story because I've been here 32 years. Do you know how much money is on this card? We can go to Qatar. <laughs> <laughs>